Hello guys, in this tutorial we are trying to use mock remark to mock the soap client. So for example, let's say we have a code and in that code we are calling the soap client and we basically use that soap client to call some services. And based on the call, based on the method that we are calling, then uh, a response comes back from that service. So okay, I mean when we want to write a test, we cannot use the soap client I mean the real soap client address. So we somehow need to actually fix this. It is either we should create, I don't know, fake uh, testing server or fake WSTL file and use that, or we can basically mark this soap client somehow. But if we get back to a uh, user controller, uh, let me explain for you what is the user controller and what it will be, I mean, doing. So let's say a user has been registered and he needs to activate his account before using that, before using his uh, actually account. So I mean, the front end will call the activate account method. We get the user, the current user, then we call the sign document, which I have already showed you, which is called the soap client and pass uh, some parameters to it. And then in the response, we get the status. And if it's verified, then we update the user verified field and we return a response. This, this is the whole idea. So how we can actually now mark this? I mean, there is two ways that we can mark the SOAP client, but it really depends. So for example, in this code, I can, I can do this thing. Okay, let me see. Units controller. Yeah, let me let me remove this controller and uh, I will create a test here I will call it user test so I will extend the test case and I will write my first scenario so my first scenario is to mark this DiQ sign service because I'm injecting it into the constructor I can simply mark this and I can simply just uh, define a mockery with the, with the expectation and with the method that it should get called. So this is the first solution. So if you use your SOAP client service in a, I mean in, a, in a method which is located in a different class, then you can simply can uh, mark the class itself. So we can go to the user test. The first scenario could be public function test. The method name that we are writing to us is activate account. Activate account should call sign document with specific arguments. All right, we have the test now. So the first thing we want to do is creating a new instance of the user controller new user controller and we need to call the user controller activate account but as you can see here in the user controller we need to pass two things the the document sign service and the app model user so the document document sign service is the class that we need to mark so let me zoom a little bit here yeah. close this zoom a little bit Okay, so I will define my actually document sign mark. Oh, we can use markry mark. Then we pass the document sign service class. And then what we are expecting from this class, we are expecting. Uh, okay, let me see. It should receive what? It should receive sign document, sign document. Because if you go to the user controller, if we go to the user controller, sorry, uh, we can see we are actually referring to document sign service and then calling the sign document. So we are expecting the sign document to get called with arguments. What is the argument? The arguments are two things, ref ID and UID. For example, let's say one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. All right. And return from me, 
something. Uh, if we go to the user controller, we can see that when we call sign document, we have a response. The response should contain a status. So what we can do here, we can do two things. The first thing that we can do is create a new std class, which is an empty object. New std class. And add the status as a property to it. Status equal verified. Then return this std in the response of sign document. Okay, now we can pass the document sign mark and pass the user. Okay, cool. And here we need to pass the exact same argument that I have passed here. So I will pass one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And now if we run this test, okay, so no assertion, as you know why and what is the reason for this, I will basically fix it now in a couple of seconds. So here down, get the container, so mockery, sorry. Mockery get container this add assertion to count container get assertion and then we need to add something else. We need to say mockery quotes. Right. Now, if we run it again, as you can see, we have one test and one assertion. So let's take a look at the test again. Look, we have just marked the docuSign service, and then we expect uh, this method to get called with this arguments and return a response, which responds the response we have created here. And it is an object which contains a status with the value of verified. We create an instance of the user controller, we pass the IQ sign mark and the user model, and then call the activate account with the specific argument that we have already passed to the mockery class, mockery object, I mean. So yeah, now if we go to the user controller and if we go, for example, if we dump this IQ sign service, you can see it contains uh, yeah exactly it contains the mockery object so now this is the first way that I wanted to explain the second way that we can actually mark the soap client is to use overload keyword but uh, let's go to the test and let's write our second test so public test and in this test I want to test the sign document so I'll say test uh, I should create a new test class but uh, I mean I want to simplify things so I will just write the test here so test sign document should call should call request yeah that's it should call request I don't want to say with any specific argument. I just want to call the request. Okay, so how we can do this? We need to create a new instance of a DQ uh, DQ signed marked mark or no DQ signed service new DQ signed service. Okay. And from the docu sign service, we need to call sign document. We can pass some value to it, but we don't really need these values in the sign document for the sake of this test. So now we need to not let the soap client call the real service. So how we can mark that? We actually can't mark it because if we now use, for example, mark remark using the overload keyword and then the class, uh, sorry, the soap client, I mean class 
mat so client then this will throw an error and I will tell you why or what is the reason yeah exactly the problem is actually everything every class that has been loaded before the mockery initialization then this marker will throw an error so we need to do something else for this uh, for solving this problem I can do one thing I can actually create another class so for example I will come to the services and create a new class I will call it DiQ sign soap and then uh, let me zoom a little bit and then extend the soap client and I go to the DiQSign service and instead of creating a new instance of the soap client I will create a new instance of the DiQSign soap this way I can mock this class using the overload keyword so instead of soap client I will say DiQSign soap class exactly and if we want to really be sure about it we can come here and we can dump the soap client and then exactly as you can see is the actually mock object that we have already defined so we have marked soap client now and we need to to tell this mark to expect something so should receive what should receive request uh, yeah that's it with any I will say with any acts yeah so now if we call this again as you can see the test has been passed and there's two assertions so we have marked the soap client but we have not marked the real soap client we basically mark the class that extends the soap client this is the second test that we can write but now i would like to write one more test for the wsdl file itself so i say public function test uh, okay i will say diq sign wsdl should call request with specific argument okay so in this test I would like to test the WSDL file itself so we have a method calling uh, get mark from WSDL so this will basically create a mark object from the WSDL file and now we need the WSDL file so I will say dir name directory three levels and then I will go to the app services and then the IQ sign the WSDL okay so we have the marked marked WSDL now if we use this let's see what will be the results so now we run this mm, let me see ah yeah 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 it needs to be two levels okay ah, all right this is the object this is the WSDL that we were trying to basically write a test for so we say mark WSDL expect this once once has been one time I mean okay method request with let's say I oh, know let's say one two three four five and will return for me an array 
So if I want to test this, I will say, okay, mark that list yell. I should call request with one, two, three, four, five. And this should be equals to an empty array. Am I right? Let me see. Okay, cool. So now if I, for example, call test, then it should throw an error because there is no such method. Okay, this is the third, actually, it is not the third way, but it is a way to test the WSDL file. But this is totally different from these two uh, first tests. Because the first test, we have marked the service itself, which we are injecting in the constructor. And the second test is to marking the soup class itself with wrapping it, or not wrapping it, but extending, um, creating a new class and extending the soap client. So you could either uh, using this way, like uh, marking the service itself, which in the service we are calling the soap client or mark the soap client itself. So I hope you like this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.